Mega GMs, and happy Friday to you. Well, the Rec League Mint arrived yesterday, and it wasn't the market trend or even traders' wallets that was wrecked. It was my prediction. Let's get into that. Let's start with the NFT market. Your forecast 500 NFT index is down over 1%. This is an all-time low. The trend we've been on, the declining prices of NFTs, has been drastic this year, every bit as much as last year, and this trend is going to continue for the rest of the year. Now, global NFT sales were actually pretty good yesterday, $18.8 million. It's around $5 million higher than just the day before. So you love to see that. Now it's the transactions that I keep talking about, and I'm going to talk about them again here. We've hit another all-time high, 680,000 transactions. What's interesting, though, is average sale prices actually increased to $27. It's going the opposite way of what I had been suggesting lately. Higher volume, lower prices. Yesterday, we had higher volume, higher prices. So what happened there? Well, yesterday, we're seeing traders selling higher-priced NFTs and taking big losses. Sellers were on the losing end of trades yesterday to the tune of $1.8 million. So again, big ticket items, selling at a big loss. It just shows there's no faith that these NFTs will have that big value in the future. They're taking what they can get while they can get it. This correlation though, let's watch and see if it continues. If we see the higher prices correlate with higher losses. I think we may be onto something here. Onto the top 10 collections, no surprises here, including with Rec League being at the top. Between their two collections, over $3 million on the secondary markets. Looking strong there, but where it didn't look strong was the actual mint. In fact, when I mentioned my prediction was wrong, it was Rec League who got wrecked. It wasn't anyone else. In fact, only around a third of the NFTs on their primary sale have even been sold. In the next two hours, they're going to close the mint and they're going to burn any remaining NFTs. Again, I don't know if I would call this a disaster, but absolutely their plans were wrecked and they're losing out on millions and millions of dollars that they were expecting to bring in through this primary sale. And look, we have to have a takeaway here. There has to be a lesson learned. Learned. That lesson is traders are completely out of money. They're not willing to spend $2,000 to mint anymore or, or $700 or $500 or even $300 like we see here. They don't want to and they don't have it. And here's ultimately the point. Project founders and leaders are completely out of touch with traders. Traders are completely broke. They have no more money left. They've spent it all minting NFTs that just like yours promised to be rewarding, but none of them played out. Other than Yuga Labs, no one's managed to bring a rewarding ecosystem to the holders, and I don't know if they ever will. But for now, you can't charge hundreds of dollars for an NFT and promise that in the future, you're going to drive value to them. It's not going to work. Is there a better way to do this? You better believe there is. And Zynga, who's part of Take Two, the devs behind Grand Theft Auto, well, they announced their mint is going to be entirely free. This is how you do it. Now, anybody who gets in here and has a fun experience, better believe they're buying your NFT the next time around. So again, the right way to do it on display here? Yeah, I think so. Now we actually had some controversy in the space. It's going to be pretty darn impactful, especially for artists. OpenSea announced that they're removing creator royalties and making them entirely optional before creators could select if royalties were enforced. And if they were enforced, they would be blocked from other non-enforcing marketplaces. Well, all this has done is driven traffic away from OpenSea. They can't do it anymore. So creator fees, royalties, whatever you want to call them, completely gone at this point, completely optional. Artists, you got to change your thought on this. Tech needs to be built around Around royalties, maybe a new token standard that enforces royalties at the contract level, but you can't force a platform to give you royalties when, look, they may go out of business without that. Collectors, though, you got to step up. You got to pay your royalties. In fact, even send it directly to the artist. Give them a tip. Just make sure to take care of these people if you're truly here for the art. Now, if you recall, I recently spoke about a lawsuit against Sotheby's for the sale of 100 board apes sold two years ago for around $20 million. The accusation here is that Sotheby's is falsely representing the status of these apes. Remember, we had celebrities, Justin Bieber, Tom Brady, all saying that they bought these apes and they loved them and everyone thought they were just going to be the biggest mainstream brand. But what they didn't tell us is that all of these celebs were gifted their board ape. Look, we were all there. We know exactly how that went down. Well, Sotheby and Yuga Labs response, no, we didn't. That's it. That's the extent of their response here. So I'm really looking forward to watching this one play out in the courtrooms. It's going to speak a lot to NFTs and are they securities or not. And I really think a lot of these actually are. Finally, Coinbase. Man, I've been trying to go to bat for them. I, I was and I guess I still am rooting for them. But this one actually sours me just a little bit. Coinbase is now promoting almost a scam of an NFT. If you're not familiar, this Kevin character came from a project called Pixelmon. Pixelmon was promising to be a an open world 
Pokemon type game, but in the metaverse. Well, after raising tens of millions of dollars on their primary sale and huge secondary action of which they were earning royalties, they revealed their art. It was trash. It was complete trash. It was bought probably off Fiverr, probably cost them a couple hundred dollars. It was garbage. They were using the NFT like a Kickstarter, raising funds to build something later. Coinbase, I never wanted to use this phrase, but you gotta do better. Now to wrap things up, will Rec League survive? Yes, will they be successful? I really think so. What NFTs come down to is, is the product good? Is their product good? Is their game fun? Yes, I played it. It's very, very fun. And I feel strongly about this. If people get their hands on it, I think they're gonna love it. And I think this game has a chance to do something in the mainstream that most NFTs cannot do. Thank you so much for watching this. I would love to hear your feedback here in the comments, maybe in DMs, however you can get me. I'll be back tomorrow with more NFT market updates, the latest happenings from across the space. And remember, if it's happening in NFTs, I'm bringing you inside. Until the next time.